Hey, what up everyone? I'm Sunny Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999 on the green server on our Necro, Dark Elf Necromancer. Um, as you're seeing here, we're at the Spectre Tower in the Oasis. Um, I don't know what level I was at this point. Uh, the last video, I was killing guards and, and dwarfs and druids in the western common lands. And I think the Spectres here, I was probably around level 40. Somewhere in between 40 and 43, 44, something like that. Early 40s. Uh, killing, we'll see, though. We'll probably, we might see. Um, but this video is probably going to have to be on the shorter side. I might make it like 30 minutes or so. I'm trying to get this last video in for uh, March. I, I, I'm trying to do 40 videos in March. And, you know, that's more than one every day. And at, this is March 31st when I'm recording this. And if I can at least get it recorded and, and posted to YouTube at some point before I go to bed, I'll be happy with that. So, anyway. We're in Oasis. This is the, the island in the middle of Oasis. You know when you go to Oasis, you're doing the Gators. Or you're doing the Orc Highway. Or you're doing the Derves. Or you're doing something like that, right? Usually you're at P1 or P2 or whatever you call it. Um, or you're at the dock waiting on a boat. And then in the middle of the of, of Oasis, you see this island, and there's water surrounding it, and that's where the specters are. I'm sure everybody knows this. And um, these specters are like level 36 or 35, something like that. Um, I should look this stuff up before I start, but yeah, they're good for around level 36, 37-ish. Let's go forward to a little bit of action here. I think we're just getting set up. But yeah, it's me and Orant the Mage, and um, yeah. There's four on the ground here, four specters. So what I was getting to was, yes, this is in the middle of the oasis. I'm sure everybody knows there's specters here in this tower. But I don't know how many of you actually end up coming back to the oasis and fighting these specters. Or even coming onto the island or knowing what's in the tower or what's on the island or any of that. So I just want to show a little example of that today and then maybe some more tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. If you guys actually want to see more of this or not. Uh, but just a little introduction of it here, at least. Um, fear kiting the specters. Uh, I think I'm waiting on Orant to get here, um, is what's going on right now. So I'm killing, like, the first specter, and he's coming to uh, join me. So, yeah, no partner at the moment. Uh, so just getting a feel for it, fear, fear kiting the first specter here. Which is another pretty decent uh, experience and plat camp for uh, this level range for... Like in the previous video, I showed you the um, the druids, um, which is really good for plat uh, from like 35 to 40. Um, and then the toll guards, which is really good for experience from like 35 to 40. Uh, this is another one. This is another one. I'd say this is a, you know, 37 to 42 type, probably even higher, maybe 40 to 45. I'm sure a lot of people would say yeah, I was there at 35, bro. Um, but most people will probably be around level 40-ish when you're going to be here. And what am I What am I doing here? Why am I about to die? What is going on? Alright, just finishing him off. Okay, I was about to say, what is going on there? <laughs> finishing him off. Um, hitting him with the... Uh, ooh, there we go. 43. I'm level 43. So, hey, now we know. I'm level 43 here. That's what I said. I said I was around 40 to 43. Um, and yeah, killed him. You get scythes. So it's a good plat. It's a good experience um, for that level range. Mostly, I would say 40, around 40 is probably the best to do this. But you can do it up until 50, even. I'm pretty sure. Like, I haven't come over to the Spectres recently, now that I'm level 51. But I'm pretty sure I could still get experience over here. Um, not 100% sure, though. I should probably look something like that up. I'll let you guys know in the comments what level the specters are and how long you can get experience and whatnot but um yeah what, what am i saying here i said he said in oasis now uh, i don't know greenberry how we were talking about what we were talking about there me and greenberry there i don't even remember much about that but um yeah here's um our mage duo mr orent uh i don't know what level he is here um Probably, you know, he's he keeps pretty good pace, so he's probably level 35, something like that. Um, rinsing the taste out of our mouth from Kazakh Thule. If you remember, uh, not the previous video, 
But the video before that, Orrent had died twice in that video at the end when I said I trained my own partner by feign deathing. Um, which is totally by accident, but hey, sometimes you gotta put some crazy stuff in the titles just to get a view here and there. It was true, and it happened, and I put it in the title, so whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the last time we had grouped up and were recording and whatnot, and we were, um, in Kazik, and I died twice, he died twice, it was us trying to figure out Kazik, and... Now we're, we wanted to wash the taste out of our mouth, basically. So that was my idea. I'm like, hey, man, didn't go too well last time. I felt really bad. He died twice, all that stuff. Um, so I said, hey, let's wash the taste out of our mouth. Do like an easier camp that we know we can handle and that will make good money and do and good experience. I'm like, hey, let's check the specters. If they're open, we'll take it. And luckily, it was open. I did a CC. I did a camp check, and nobody claimed it. So here we are at the specters. Um, and it was really fun. It was really good, and it's still a good experience and plat camp into your 40s. So, level 40 is probably perfect for it. I don't know about 45 or 50, but I would say 45, 40 to 45 probably is the sweet spot. But you could probably do it sooner, 38, 37, and you could probably do it later, 46, 47, 48. I'm pretty sure. Because I think Orent was here doing it around 48 and still having really good success with experience and everything. They were pulling the tower and everything. But for us here, this is just, you know, washing the taste out of our mouth. So we're just pulling the four ground specters. So there's four on the ground. And then there's supposedly, there's like five in the tower, I think. Something like that. So there's like nine total specters. We didn't touch the tower. We were just looking for... And it was fine because we had the four specters. Um... I guess we'll see how often they spawn here. We might sit by water. I think one spawns here. Do you know this camp? I asked him. He said just what we did last time with Badger. We did do this camp a little bit with uh, his druid. Very, very... It was like... We killed like a couple specters at the end of one of our recordings. So we didn't do it too much. But I'm like, come down here, play it safe. So we're sitting towards the water, by the water. And then I was gonna... There's like this little... You'll see there's this little area where we fear kite. Um, he's summoning a pet and resummoning it to get a better one. Um, I'm level 43, so, you know, I, I'm about to be at 44 and get new spells, right? So, I probably still have my 39 spells, everything you've seen before. It's nothing too new to talk about. Um, but yeah. Be hitting that new, uh, spell level here in this next level. And hopefully this is recording, because earlier today, if you if you enjoy my channel and everything about me, and I don't just come just for EverQuest or just for Gems of War, I was recording a Gems of War video earlier today, and for some reason it was not recording. And I did like a 30-minute video, and I had to redo it. And that is like the worst thing if you can imagine. If you've ever recorded or been a YouTube, done any, anything on YouTube, or done any kind of content creation... That's like the worst thing that can happen, like especially if it's 30 minutes or longer and you just record and, and you're done and you're getting ready to like render or something and you hit play and there's no, you just, everything you just said just went nowhere. So, yeah. Looks like three outside of tower, not sure what's inside. Um, no, there's actually four outside the tower, but we're going to figure it out. And they're not linked, I don't think. But in the tower, uh, so there's four, one on each side of the outside of the tower, right? So there's one on every corner of the tower, but they're out on the outskirts of the island, kind of. So they're out further. And then, let's get a better view here. Let's get some action. We kind of got prepared for a while. There's one that spawns here, one that spawns there. One, of course, over here, and then one on the other side. So there's four, one on each corner. Um... I forget what the spawn timer is. My default is always to say 16 minutes. I was saying that in the last video, and then it ended up being 6 minutes, which I did correct myself later on. But, you know, some people might only watch the first 5 or 10 minutes of the video, and that's the uh, the negative of only watching the first 5 or 10 minutes of a video, is somebody may say something and then correct themselves later on. So, gotta watch the whole thing. He says, doing good? Great, let's push our luck. Yeah, usually that's how it goes. Whenever we're doing good, we try to... That's at least how I, it goes with me. Also with the uh, about-to-level mechanic in this game, I swear they turn it up to 10 whenever you're about to level. If you're in that last bubble with, like, 
half a bubble to go and you're about to level, expect everything to go wrong. I'm telling you. Your spells are going to get interrupted when you're standing still like a statue. Um, they're going to fizzle all of a sudden when you haven't fizzled in like 10 levels. Um, stuff's just going to happen. You're going to get trained, or your feigned death is going to fail, or you're going to get an ad, or your pet's going to fall through the floor, or something's going to happen. I guarantee it. Or you're going to get a mega resistor. That's what usually happens, a mega resistor. We're about to level, and then all of a sudden this guy, this camp, this thing that you've been killing over and over and over and over for the whole level, easy as pie, all of a sudden it resists like ten things in a row and you die. And your feign death fails or whatever. But yeah, these specters, I'm pretty sure these specters are like level 35-ish. I, I could be wrong. They might be a different level. I'm thinking 36, 35, something like that. I'll make sure to put it in the comments. I... I could look it up, I guess, but it's hard to, like, talk and look stuff up while I'm doing it. But I would rather be right, I guess, so maybe I can do that. Um, let's see if I can find it on down here once again. Doing this again. I just don't want to be telling you the wrong spawn timer the entire time again. Um, which, you know, I corrected myself last time, like I said. But, yeah, if you got if you got extra people here, like, we only have two people and we're not exactly at the top end of the level range. If we were either at the top end of the level range or, um... Which I'm I'm close to it, but he's not. You know what I mean? We were both like level 45. We could probably handle the tower also. Cause that's what I'm trying to get around to. Um, just to handle, also handle the tower, you're probably gonna have to be level 45-ish or have a a bigger group, at least three people or something. And that's why we didn't we didn't do it. Um, I'll just look up Oasis on the Project 1999 wiki. Everybody should look at the Project 1999 wiki. It's awesome. Um, 70 to 30 plus benefits. What's in this zone? Let's look for, uh, specters. Okay, specters. Are they here? Where are they at? Uh, QRS. I don't see it. What are they called? A specter, probably. Something dumb like that. A specter. Come on, man. A Spectre, yes, here they are. 33 to 37, so I was pretty spot on with 35. So they can get up to level 37 and um, down to level 33. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I think a level 40 can group with a level 60, so does that mean that you could kill a level 40 as a level 60 and get experience? Um, it's something similar to that, so I think it, you could probably save at least until level 50 with these things. Possibly even to like 55. So anyway, they're level 33 to 37, um, 100%. And specters are foul, floating, undead, which wield scythes and wear black hooded cloaks. Clearly a reference to the Grim Reaper. Maybe we'll read a little bit about the specter here. Um, they can be found guarding several locations around Norath that seem to be commonly associated with dark powers. So you can find them in the Oasis of Mar. You can find these specters in and around the tower on the island in the center of the Oasis proper. Respawn time, 16 minutes and 30 seconds. So there you go. They're level 33 to 37, and the respawn time is 16 minutes and 30 seconds. So each corner, there's four of them. You could do one every four minutes. That sounds about perfect to me for a duo. Um, in the Firat also, they're in the Firat. In the maze of tunnels near the portal to the Plane of Fear. The respawn time is 6 minutes and 40 seconds there. A lot of people, that's a highly desired camp. The Fearot uh, Plane of Fear Specters. Ocean of Tears on the haunted island south of Sea Furies. Respawn time, 6 minutes. Hmm. I need to go to, uh, I need to go to, um, Ocean of Tears. I need to fight Sea Furies and those Specters, so. Also the Kanos Aqueducts. Near the Temple of Bertoxulus, these seem to be much stronger than other specters. Respawn time, 22 minutes. And they're, they're, they drop mostly scythes. Um, a variety of scythes. I think their scythe is worth the most, the bronze scythe is worth the second most, and then there's a rusty scythe that's not worth anything. Um, they're immune to Flea, Sea and Viz, Sea and Viz vs. Undead, Specter Life Tap, and Specter Stun. They're warriors. Wow, didn't know that. They can hit up to 96 with two attacks per round. Pretty cool. I mostly just fear kite them, and I got a duo, so I don't think we're going to have much trouble 
But yeah, let's see uh, some of this action here. I'll try to describe what I was doing. As my 43 Dark Elf Necromancer. I was just pulling him with a snare, which is probably Dooming Darkness. And then I would let it come pretty, you know, closer to us, like around in this area. Um, I was really trying to get it down, not exactly in this area, but over here to the left. Because there's like a little runway over there. Like right there. I'll show you in a second. Because I, ex I explain it eventually. You know how a camp is. You start, you kill it once, you knock it down, you get it broke, you figure out the timing, you get it going smoothly, and then you figure stuff out. Like, okay, I want to pull it over here, and I want to run it, I want to fear it this away. And if it dies here, this would be the best spot for it to die. If it's feared over here, this is the best place for it to be feared. We don't want it to go this way, we don't want it to go that way. If it goes in the water, it's kind of annoying. Like, you start figuring stuff out. We don't want it to get too close to the tower. Even though we found out that doesn't matter too much. Uh, we I actually hit a specter with, like, a life tap when he was, like, pretty much touching that tower. And it didn't didn't matter. So, let's uh, skip forward. The nice thing about the way I'm recording this is I can just skip around and go back and forward and whatever I want to do. Uh, luckily, the sound's not crazy this time. Sorry for that in the last video. There was, like, the, the extra noises, you know? You turn on the environment sounds. Those things were, like, cranked up in that last video. It does get better, so if you if you watched that last video, then you all of a sudden heard these loud animal noises, and you could barely hear me talking. It does get better as the video goes, so go back and give that video another chance. Maybe go ahead by, like, a couple minutes when you hear the crazy animal noises. Um, I turn it down, first of all, and then it goes away later on, so it's it definitely gets better as that video goes. I know it's crazy for, like, one second, and then you can't hear me talking for, like, another second, and then I say, I wonder if I turn this down, does it work? And it does, a little bit, and then eventually they just, I move, and the sounds go away, so. Anyway, my 40th video this month, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying to make these videos, I'm trying to understand, like, they slowly get views, and they're not gonna get a bunch of views all at once, and you gotta just keep up with it, be patient, be consistent, um, eventually I'm gonna be level 60 and rating and all that cool stuff, and eventually I'll probably make an alt and whatnot, I'm, I'll probably eventually have less and less time to make videos for this game, but at the moment, I'm trying to do 9 or 10 videos a month, which is like 2 a week at least, so, so we're trying for it. He says, even then, just fear the one that isn't snared, so it runs far off and kill the snared one fast, and we should be golden. Yeah, exactly. As long as front doesn't pop while I'm pulling a back. Right. Eventually, we got it so down that that wasn't even really a fear. I don't think that even ever happened, really. Maybe, like, once. Oh, this is where I almost die. This is awesome. Okay, I wasn't expecting this thing to spawn. I was, like, busy typing or slightly AFK or something. And look at that. My health goes way down. I hit the feign death. I'm glad we got this on video. So I almost died there. That was the only time that one of us almost died. Spoiler alert. I'm like, okay, feign death. I'm getting better at my feign death at this point. This is me. This is when I kind of turned the corner with my feign death, I would say. Like, right around here. I was terrible with it in Kha'Zix. I'll admit that. Um, before Kha'Zix, I barely used it at all. Kha'Zix, when I first started trying to use it, I was terrible. Right here is where I kind of start turning the corner and start using it more instead of gate. And I'm still not the best at it, but getting better. Nowadays, I almost hit it almost every time I need it. I'm using it to break camps. I'm um, never dying. I'm casting Feign Death, pretty much. Like, it might fail me once or twice. Like, you'll see, we recorded a video in um, Upper Guck, or Lower Guck. So you look forward to that. Lower Guck, the Assassin Supplier Room, where we get... It's awesome, so just watch that. Just like the Ghoulbane video, it turns out awesome, so. And it's fun, like, it's it's exciting, like, I'm charming undead, like, we're having trouble getting in there, it's difficult, I die a few times, like, and there's crazy good loot that we could possibly get that's worth, like, 2k plat. So, you guys gotta watch that one when it comes out, Lower Gook. But yeah, I told him to go ahead and uh, get its attention, and then I'll make sure he doesn't die type stuff. So, you know, Orant get its attention, save my life pretty much, and then the pets will steal the attention while I snare and fear it. I want to life tap a little bit first, because I was so low on health. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is where I'd like to have it feared, like in this area right here. There's a little area.
My bad, guys. I still don't know how to splice these videos the way I'm doing it. I'm still learning, uh, recording on the PC, so if you want to see better, like, um, more professional videos, go check out my PS4 Gems of War videos that are all over the channel, or my Dark Souls and whatnot. I'm still learning on the PC, so hopefully, you know, sometimes you might have to deal with a slight mute or me not talking for a second. But I don't even remember what I was saying there. Uh, I had trouble, I had to feign death, and then Orant got its attention. And then I, like, snared it, the pets were on it, and then I life tapped to get my uh, HP back up. Hopefully that, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm turning down my headphones so I don't have to hear anything. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it went. There's four, there's one on each corner, and we'd kill them like every four minutes or so, we'd kill one. And it was good, it was, we would take turns with the scythes. So, if he got a, I think we even did bronze, like, if he got a, either a bronze scythe or a normal scythe, then it would be my turn. We probably should have done it to where we go until we each get a normal scythe, because those are worth way, 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 way more. And the way that we were doing it, like, a certain person could get just a normal scythe o over and over and over, while the other guy's getting bronze scythes, which are worth worth way less. Like, the, bron the normal scythe's worth, like, you know between 11 and 19 plat, and the uh, bronze scythe is worth like 3 or 4 or something like that, so it's like triple to quadruple if you get the normal scythe, but we, well, how we should have done it and how I'd recommend you do it is take turns with the normal scythes, don't worry about the bronze scythes, they're worth like 3 plat, but it's up to you, but the way I would, after doing it this way, I would say the best way to do it is just take turns getting scythes. You know, and if you get a couple bronze while you're going after your normal scythe, that's just the way it is. And then the next guy will probably get a couple bronze while he's going after his normal scythe. Because they don't pop up that often, but they pop up enough that you can each get one or two, you know, go back and forth. But yeah. I said 40... I said, uh, well I was thinking there that somebody was stealing one of our spawns, but they actually weren't. You know, sometimes I'm a little bit paranoid about that, because it happens to me so often in this game people stealing spawns for me, so I'm kind of on the wrong side of the spectrum for being paranoid about that. Um, but I don't think anybody actually was. I think I just had the uh, timer wrong or whatever, because the one does end up spawning that I'm thinking didn't spawn. Um, but I was thinking, like, the back one was going to spawn and the front one spawned instead, and that's why I got hit so hard and so fast and wasn't right there to... because I didn't think I was going to be attacked. So I had to feign death. You know, we did all that stuff. It was fine, though. I almost died, though. Well, let's go forward a little bit. Trying to make this like a 30-minute video. I still want, I want to show a good represent, rep, eh, representation of this camp. I do have way more footage of this. If you guys, like, if this all of a sudden gets more views than other videos, I'll put out some more of this. But if not, I'll probably just skip ahead to the next thing. Which I think the next thing is going to be either... I'll we'll probably be going, I think, back to Kazakh Duel, actually. So we did two Kazakh videos, then we did uh, the West Commons and the Spectre video, and then we'll probably go back to Kazakh Duel for revenge. And boy, do we get some good revenge. And then I think after that, maybe North Row Guards, and then uh, Lower Guck. So I have a bunch recorded that me and Orant did, uh, and like one I did myself. So I'll try to throw in like one I do myself every once in a while, but most of it's going to be like duo with probably Orant going forward. Um, but yeah. Specter Camp, Medding. Um, we really do get in a, in a flow here, though. I'll show you. So, probably casting Vampiric Curse there. Fearing it. Which, that's pretty much my job here. Pooling, snaring, fearing. And then Orant does tons of damage and his pet's awesome. And that's all I really all, all I really needed to do here was uh snare pull it with snare bring it down here stick my pet on it fear it maybe cast like one other thing and most of the time I tried to get if I could fam vampiric curse on it so I could uh have some health coming in while I was liching but yeah this is the one problem here is when they go in the water it's not that big of a deal but it's just kind of annoying when they like die in the water and their body falls down or you know, we got all these pets in the water and stuff. Sometimes that's not super fun. But you can... It doesn't happen that often. It's not that big of a deal. You could fight them further up, I guess, if you're gonna... There's probably people out there, like, thinking we're 
this is our first time doing this camp, so if we're doing it wrong or you think that we're kind of doing it weird or whatever, you know, it's our first time, so it's really like our first and a half time, like 1.5. We barely did it earlier. So I get a bronze scythe. I pass my turn to him. Um, you know, you can make decent money here, though. Really good EXP and plat camp for level 40 or so. They're 33 to 37. I'm sure you're not going to be doing this at 35 when there's some of them that are 37. So I'd say you'd have to be at least level 37 before you do this camp. And, you know, if you're a necro or something, you'd probably handle it, like one or two of them. But yeah, mostly level 40 to 45, I'd say, is a really good camp for this. And instead of being over at the Crocs, staring at the island, wondering what it's like to do Spectres, one day you will be here on this island doing the Spectres around level 40. So just remember that instead of going to Kunark or something, which almost everybody does, uh, maybe think about doing the Spectres here. They're good plat, good experience around level 40 to 45. Uh, let's speed ahead here. We don't want to make this too boring. We're just meditating. Here's the next pool. Pets are finishing it off, it looks like. So we missed the beginning of the pool again. I kind of want to see the beginning of the pool next time. We keep seeing the end of the pool. Let's uh, see the beginning of the pool uh, at least before we get out of here. Um, let me know if you guys want to see longer videos. Like this last couple, I've just had to rush, pretty much rush to get in. Um, but I could make longer videos. I'm definitely thinking about doing live commentary very shortly. It's, sometimes it's easier for me to just record these things and then do the post commentary like I'm doing right now. Like I, I literally fought these specters probably like a month ago, and now I'm finally recording over it. You know what I mean? It'd be cool if I did the live recording and then released it like a couple of days later. But the problem with that is to do live commentary, I have to have a like a big block of time to just be talking without interruption. You know what I'm saying? It's really hard. It's way easier to, like, just record only video uh, and not get interrupted because somebody can, like, come in the room, talk to me. I can go out of the room and still record. Like, I can still do other things and be interrupted and go back and forth. And I, But if I'm, like, doing live commentary, you have to be there literally the entire time, speaking the entire time for, like, two hours straight because we're not going to do, like, 30 minutes and then we're done. We're, we're probably, if we're doing something... We're going to do like two or three hours, so I'm going to have to sit there and either like pick and choose when I record or pick and choose when I do commentary or talk the entire time. So I don't know. I'll try to figure it out to where I can get some more live commentary videos. I know that would be way more interesting than me pretty much reacting to my own video like a month later, which is basically what post commentary is. You reacting and I'm kind of, you know, telling you what I was thinking while I was doing it and like what I was doing and stuff. It's not like not like a reaction it's more uh explanation or something but anyway I sh i'm gonna try to do more live commentary basically is the point um we're just sitting here again while i blab let's see if we can get the pool here all right there's the specter coming along and here's what i'm saying like i hit him he's pretty close to that tower when i just hit him with that spell so nothing comes down unless you like pretty much hump the tower with your crotch it's not gonna i don't think anything's gonna come down I think there's like one specter at the bottom anyway. They might all be linked, but supposedly you can pull them with lol. That's what this guy, Mr. Orent, told me. He was over here with another necro like the other day, a couple days ago, um, doing this camp. And um, he said that the way that they were doing it was they are pulling the tower with lol. So supposedly you can do that. I'm pretty sure I could with my undead lol, like my... um. Uh, I forget what it's called. I was just using it in a, a lower guck. Which, that's going to be a cool video. I can't wait till you guys see the lower guck video. It's action-packed. It was kind of weird. We died. Like, we, we weren't even doing that great. But it was fun. I was, like, charming stuff. It was dangerous. It was exciting. And then, like, the loot was so worth it. Like, it made everything so much better. Uh, you'll see. It's amazing. It's going to be, like, three or four or five videos from now. But, can't wait. It's kind of like when we were doing the uh, Shin Lord and got Ghoulbane. Like, it was all worth it in the end. Even though nobody died going to the Shin Lord, but... I can't wait to go back to Lower Guck. But there's a giant over there. We were thinking about pulling it, and if you're doing, like, crushing the specters du to dust over and over and over, and you're just, like, so bored, that's something you can do. You can, like, look for the... There's sometimes there'll be sand giants that you can 
maybe go get and pull. If you have So in your group and Dead Man Floating, and you have enough time, you can run over there and pull it. And we were thinking of doing it, but it just doesn't happen. I kind of look for it. Someone gets it, I think. And here comes somebody asking if we're camping the Spectres. I'll just um, fast forward mostly through this footage. I, I, I'm on the... I'm about, uh, I don't think we're going to be, I have another video with specters on it if you want, if you guys want to see more. So, I'm trying to condense this footage here into, like, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. But, um, another one dying in the water. Annoying, but not that bad. Um, meditating, pulling another one. Fearing it, pull it with snare, fear it. Um, what do I, what am I doing next here? I don't need to do much. I mean, the pets pretty much take care of the rest. Um, I just keeping my mana up, keeping my health up, stand up here, getting it where we want it, kind of. We're really getting into our groove here. That's like exactly where I want it. If it didn't go in the water, I, I don't like it going in the water. Because sometimes that'll mess with your cast. Like, you'll cast on it and it'll get, uh, it'll tell you that you can't see it or whatever. Even though it's right there. It's something about feet in this game. If you see something's feet, you can cast on it. And I'm not joking. There's like a mechanic in this game. And like, it's like where it's standing on the ground. So basically anything's feet or whatever the bottom of their model is, is where, if you can see that, then you can cast on them. So if sometimes when they're in the water, you can't technically see that. So it'll not let you do it. And I'm not an expert on this. I'm not an expert on this game at all. And I'm going to keep saying that from the rooftops. This is my first character in 20 years, and I wasn't that great back in the day either, because I wasn't, you know, anyway. But yeah, here we are. I'm waiting for the next one to pop. Turn off my Lich, because I don't need it. This one pops. Maybe you can see everything here for once, instead of me just in the middle of a pool. Tower's right here. I'm not worried about it at all, especially at this point. I was worried about the tower at first, um, but eventually I just stopped worrying about it because nothing happened at all. Here we go, snare. Uh, I guess I do vampiric curse next. I'm just dotting the crap out of it. Now scourge. And then I'll fear it. It's just so slow that I have the time to cast all those dots before it even gets to our group. Uh, it just hit me with something, a spectered life tap, it looks like. Which will make my pet mad and run up there. And then fear. Once I get it where I want it, then I'll fear it, you know? I make it mad, get it all dotted up, and then when I want it where it's where I want it, then I fear it. Basically is how I was doing it towards the... Once I got in my groove here. And they kept going in the water and stuff, but eventually I got it to where I feared it. You can't... When you're fearing things, you can't tell where it's going to go. It can go one of one of four directions. And eventually it's going to change direction. Like, it never goes in a straight line forever. It always, after, a, it never is going to go in a straight line forever, basically. Like, it could go in a straight line for half the time and then break right, left, or back towards you. Um, but it always breaks at least once. But most of the time it's going to break more than once, depending on how... It's, you know, if it's snared, then it doesn't go as far. If it's not snared, let's say it's sewed, then it's going to run all over the place. Do like you? I feel like I'm playing football sometimes when I my snare gets resisted, and then I fear I have to fear something, and it's not snared yet, and I'm like chasing it down. I feel like I'm playing football, like trying to get a snare on it. I said our pets rule. Yeah, this is like the, a really good example of a necro mage duo with pets, just destroying specters with their pets. Yeah, EXP, EXP, 50%, 50%, 51%. Like, I don't care. I care, but I don't care, like, as much as other people. You know what I mean? Like, I know about it, and I know how to not do it wrong. and But I don't worry about it every single pool, every single time. Like, you know? I probably should if I was min-maxing. But here's another one way out in the freaking water. That's great. I can hit it for all for some reason. Some reason that time it hit them. Sometimes it won't. So that's the problem with the water. If you're standing on land fighting something in the water, sometimes it'll hit, sometimes it won't. But I really need to wrap this video up if I'm going to get it out today. Um, let's see if there's anything crazy happening. This is pretty much perfect. This is what I was looking for. 
the specter's in the perfect spot. He's not gonna going towards any specters. He's not in the water until like the very end. Like this area right here is exactly where I was trying to get him. And you'll be able to tell where I am right here. Like I'm on this little there's this little like plateau that you'll see that everybody <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll just uh, fast forward a little bit here to get through the rest of this footage. Once again, pulling that same specter, same spells, snare, vampire curse, scourge, fear. You know, doing a bunch of dots before I pull it to where I want it, and before I fear it where I want it feared. So the, the more I did it, the more I learned like when to fear it to where it wouldn't go in the water, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much perfect. If this, that's perfect right there. That looks so perfect. I bet you I say it. We might end with that perfect pool there. Let's check it out. Go look at your work, bro. Look at your work. Ah, it still went in the water. It's so not perfect. It looked perfect when I when it when it started. It's still going in the water. But it came back. It's coming back. So it's all good. If it, if it dies near the shore, that's not that bad. If it dies way out there, it's kind of annoying. But it's just the fact that you can't cast sometimes when they're out in the water. But anyway, I'm probably not going to get this video out technically today. I'm still going to count it, though. I don't care. I got it done today. Another one out in the water. Did I level or something? What level am I? 43 still. Halfway through 43. I wish I knew what level Warrant was here. I've been asking him lately. When we record, I'll make sure he says it in the video, or we remember, or I type it in the... So here's one, like, way over there. This is a different spawn you guys probably haven't seen yet. Um, I'm sitting on the corner, looking at one at a far corner. Um, so maybe this will be the last kill we do. The regular scythe was 13 plat. So there you go. 3 plat for bronze sites, 13 plat for the regular sites. I was asking basically, why do people love this camp so much? I'm only, if the bronze sites are only worth 3 plat. And so the thing is, you gotta wait for the, the regular sites, which are worth 13 plat. Which is even more than, right now I'm fighting the North Row Guards. They drop long swords, that's their good thing they drop. Those are worth 11 plat. So, these are worth even more than that. And that's like a higher level camp. Yeah, let's, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna finish up here shortly. I keep thinking I'm going to, and then I don't. Another specter coming down the hill. Pets go in. It's gonna get feared. I hope it comes towards me. I know, it breaks to the water. Pet bashed it. I don't know if I'm looking at my experience there or what. See another one going in the water. Not the best thing ever, but I eventually get it down, I promise. I think it's in the next video, which I may or may not put out. This might be enough of the specters for you guys. You let me know. If this is crazy, if you love it, if you think this is awesome, people come, they want to join us, I tell them never, nah. <laughs> we're duoing, we're doing a video, I don't really need another person here. Um, there we go. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, almost, almost. I wonder why I don't have, like, the, um, target. I wish this part would... Like, I want to see the target help off the court. That's cool, though. It came right back up. Probably the fear spell wore off, so... But it's probably going to die before it even gets to me, honestly. The pets are just beating the crap out of it. Boom, dead. And back to pool again. I want another one. Let's check that out. Let's check the pool out. Okay, okay. Orange 33. So I was 43 and he was 33. Right now I'm 51, almost 52. And he is, um, what level is he? 48? He, I know he, no, he, I think he turns, he might be 49. So we're really close now because. Um, I don't know, he, he got, he, he put in some work, I think he's almost 49, and I'm almost 52, so we're getting pretty close. I said that dude probably ain't used to being turned down, <laughs> that was an enchanter. I was like, nope. 
I, you know, I probably should have just let him join up, but I'm more, I don't... I like kind of like doing what I'm doing with the people I'm doing it with, and, you know, we were doing so good after having such a bad Kazakh duel experience with the deaths and whatnot. And this was like getting the taste out of our mouth, and we were doing so well. I didn't want to bring another person in. Then we'd start trying the tower, and then he would say he could do this or that, and we would feel like we're... We get clarity, and we'd be like feeling all pumped up and beer muscles, and then, you know, we'd end up dying. I bet you, you know. So, I think I made the right choice. We were doing well. If something's going good, stick with it. Even though, even with, even if it's an enchanter, I mean, how can it? That's always good, right? But in my brain, I'm like, we're doing so good. This is like wiping the taste out of our mouth. We're, we just need to stick with what we're doing, and. We're making a video, like we're, do, we're doing a duo thing with our pets, and let's not bring another person into this. Pull in the Spectre, get them all dotted up before I even bring them over there, and then two awesome pets are going to jump on him, start beating the crap out of him while he's feared. Basically, too long, don't read, right? Four camps, 33 to 37, Spectres, 16 minutes spawn, pull it with Snare, dot the crap out of it, Two pets jump on it, beat the crap out of them, fear them. They, hopefully they don't go in the water, hopefully they don't go towards the tower, and they're dead. That's the TLDR. Yeah, let's just watch this one die, and then, I, then we're definitely done. I gotta get this. I gotta at least have it uploading today to get the date on it. <laughs> let's get the date at least of the 31st, please. It might have that date if I at least get it uploaded, but yeah. Anyway, you don't care about that stuff. Next time, either a little bit more of this. I'm not sure. Probably not. Well, unless it's a crazy, like, you guys really, really want to see more Spectres in Oasis for some reason. And, like, we get up tons and tons of views. I might put out another video. Um, but that would definitely be it. And then after that, uh, what did I say? Probably back to Kazakh Duel for Revenge. The Throne Room. Me and Orant, once again, in the Throne Room, locking it down. Um, probably for at least a couple videos. And then North Row Guards. I'll show you that camp that I'm doing still to this day right now. Long Swords. It's really good. It's an AFK camp. Good for evil races. Um, and then Lower Gluck, baby. Huge rewards. Huge risk. Danger. Excitement. Death. Very exciting. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. And I'll see y'all next time. Level 43. I'm level 51 right now. 